Hey guys, welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Today we have a special guest, Susan, mm -hmm. to talk to us about the importance of alkaline water. Yeah, thank you, Neri, for inviting me. This is a very important thing aspect for me because it's a mission that I considered and I want to promote this water because, you know, talking about acidity and alkalinity in the body. So I'm going to highlight more of the alkalinity because it's very important that we have a neutral pH in our body. As you can see here, we have different kinds of water and a lot of people are actually drinking this stuff, but they're not aware of the level of the alkalinity and the level of the acidity. And this one is actually helping our body become healthier and also making our body deteriorate and become prone to sickness and illness. So I want to show you here this stuff that this one is bottled water. I have a Gatorade here. I have also this soda and a lot of people love to drink that. And this is our Kangen water. So here is our chart. We have here the yellow color and we have the purple color. We don't want to see the yellow color because the yellow color is actually more into, into an acid level. And we don't want that because this makes our body weak. This is this one makes our body prone to illness and sickness. So I want to show you here, like what I've said, we don't want to see the yellow color. Let's try this um, Aquafina. So let's see the level of acidity here. So you can see a yellow color here. here. And then here we have another one for the Sani. And this one is also Gatorade. A lot of you know people working out are also drinking this one. And this one is our soda. So take a look at this one. These are all acid, right? So this one, the alkaline water coming from Kangen machine. Take a look at this color. So what do you see here, Neri? I see purple. Purple color. So mean, meaning to say that when you drink this kind of water, it makes your body neutralize the pH. Because when we were born, our pH level, healthy level of pH in the body is 7.2 to 7.4. So here is our measure here. So here is seven, it's actually neutral. Babies are born in this side, on this side. On the neutral on side? The, no, actually on 7.2 to 7.4. Okay. Because the measure is 0 to 14. Mm -hmm. So babies inside mommy's tummy, the uterus is 7.2 to 7.4. So pretty much it's, it's here on the alkaline side. On the alkaline now, side. Now, as we grow old, as we, you know, we are eating, we are drinking, we are exposed to acidic environment, the pH level of the body becomes what? becomes not neutral. Right. So in order for us to help our body become into a neutral state of environment, we need something to help our body because you know if we're eating healthy food, healthy vegetables and fruits, which is mm -hmm. basically more into alkaline state, right? Right. Why not drink healthy water? Come okay. to think of it, right? Mm -hmm. So now, if your body is into acidic level, I want to show you something here that makes your body into a very neutral environment. So take, for example, this is your body acidic environment and you're going to drink Kangen water. Okay. okay. So I'll show you here. Take a look what's going to happen. Oh, it changes purple. Yes. So it's more alkaline. More into neutral okay. state of environment. So take a look at this one. So it's helping your body become into a neutral state of environment. Remember, if your body is into an alkaline environment, it means to say that it's helping your body, okay. helping your body not to be, become prone to illness and sicknesses and infection, mm -hmm. okay? But this one is very, and very, very super acidic. And I want you to observe this one, come to think of this one, see? It doesn't change color. Because in order for you to flush the acid level of this Gatorade and this soda, you need to drink 32 glasses of alkaline water. Oh, really? Yes. 32 glasses? Yes, okay. in order to flush it out. Okay. okay. So that's one of the properties that we want to highlight. And second property of this machine, because this machine is not only intended for drinking, this makes seven kinds of pH. And uh, one of this uh, property is also, or one of the pH is this, this is the strong Kangen water. It just came from this machine. And this helps the fruits. Because if I'm going to ask you, Neri, you're, you love to cook, right? Yes. And of course, if you love, if you love cooking, you want to go for fresh fruits and vegetables. Correct, yes. But what's inside, what, what do we have here in these vegetables? What do we have here? You mean pesticides? Pesticides, okay. right. And <laughs> if I'm going to ask you, is pesticides good for the body? Do you think it's healthy for the body? I think it's safe because it's on our vegetables. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's good for you, but it's not bad okay. for you. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, because I want to show you something here. People, the farmers, if they spray the pesticides mm -hmm. and uh, fruits and vegetables, they're wearing a complete, you know, PPE, right? Yeah. right? Yes. Yeah, they have they have masks, they have the goggles, oh, they, yeah. have the, they have the full gear. <laughs> full gear, but it's it's here. So it's okay. a wax-based pesticide. Now, if we're going to wash it using the top water, top water has, let's start with letter C, which is? Chlorine. Chlorine. Is chlorine a chemical? Yes. And do you think it's a to health? 
I don't know. Okay. <laughs> they have it in our toothpaste, okay. right? But if you're going to buy, buy a bag of uh, chlorine, yes. it says there, it's like a, a, oh, yes, a, skull, a skull like or this, skull, toxic, yes. toxic, deadly, don't, don't touch it, wear gloves. So it means to say it's not safe. Got it. Right? Okay. So of course, I want to show you here, I'm going to use the 11.5 coming from this machine. Okay. And uh, this one is a strong can in water. This one is a degreaser because this wax-based pesticide, you cannot wash it using the tap water. Why? Okay. Because if we're not going to use a wax-based pesticide, do you think farmers will use it? And if it's going to rain, what's going to happen? It's going to be washed away if it's Correct. not wax-based, yes. right? So they have to make it a wax-based pesticide. I see, okay. So we have to use a very powerful um, water, which is coming from this machine, the 11.5. I want to show you how it's going to, you know, to, to, to remove the pesticides inside, uh, I mean, in this uh, tomato. So we're going to use this one. And I'm going to use another one here coming fresh from your tap water here. Because normally we use tap water, right? And as we said, chlorine is not healthy for the body. It's very carcinogenic. Okay. Yes, it is. Yes, it's carcinogenic. That. So I want to show you here and take a look what's the difference between washing the 11.5 coming from that machine and also this tap water coming from this uh, kitchen faucet. So take a look at this one. Take a look. It's still colorless. Colorless. And take a look at this one, which is very, very the big difference. So what do you see here, Nari? I see the color yellow. See, it means to say that if I'm going to ask you, Nari, are you going to drink this water? No, I'm not going to drink it. <laughs> but, but we're eating it. But I'm eating it, you're right. <laughs> right? So that's why I love promoting this water because okay. people are not knowledgeable about this. So 11.5 right? is on what side of the scale? Oh, uh, 11.5 is into strong Kangen water. Strong Kangen water. Remember, Measure of the pH is from 0 to 14. So mm -hmm. 7 is the neutral. Okay. We're born 7.2 to 7.4. Okay. And then the one that I use is 11.5. So pretty much it's here. It's 11.5. I see. Okay. Okay. And so you don't machine... get it from here. So that, that machine produces that. All right. Thank you, Susan, mm -hmm. so much for sharing us the importance mm -hmm. of acidity and alkalinity water. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, I love promoting this water because, you know, this is part of my mission mm -hmm. and people are not educated about what kind of water we are drinking. So I really want to encourage and I'm not promoting this water, not only into our place, but also all over the world, because who does not drink water, right? Everybody exactly. drinks water. Yep. And this one is applicable for those people who, I mean, like, you know, from infant to old ones. And this one has no overdose. And this one, we know the importance of water, right? So, but the question is, what kind of water are you drinking? Absolutely. And 75% of our body is water so you got to make sure that there's healthy water inside the body to make us very healthy and strong and live longer mm -hmm. absolutely so, mm -hmm. thanks guys for tuning in i'll see you next week okay thanks, thanks.